is. Soldier boy, you a dancer nigga. You cannot change your image. You can walk around the house with as much coat and as many guns you want, but we never gonna respect you as no street nigga. Period. Chris Brown, same thing. Drake, same thing. Nobody just, nobody is good with just having money. You want that respect because everybody had the respect of a real gangster. But nobody wants to be treated like one. Hey, look, welcome back to the, uh, big fan club. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is... In hindsight, and truly, it's in hindsight of the rap trap. Today, we talking about Soldier Boy. <clears throat> it is really sad. Um, you look at the shit that this entertainment um, and this this fame, this this drug fame, what it does to people. Um, what Soldier Boy is doing now, the screaming and ah, I fight any nigga, any nigga, you know, all that bullshit, whatever, like that. That's the love and hip hop hustle where K. Michelle made it because she was always fighting motherfuckers. And as far as niggas go, this is all the fuck that we want to see. You know, and, and, and I I can say, you know, that's why boxing is so fucking, you know what I'm saying, popular and why UFC is so fucking popular. Everybody wants violence. But dog, we don't we don't we don't need you to be a skillful fighter. For us to look at you like we just want you to fight just fuck it just do it in no other genre is that acceptable or is that a substitute for talent you know what i mean pop music rock music country music you can't just be fighting everywhere and that's just yeah oh yeah oh hell yeah I fuck with that motherfucker. No. You have to actually be talented. This nigga spoke in his fucking IG live and said, you niggas is fucking the game up. Hey, dog. Dog, with that fucking Superman song, you literally opened the door to all this bullshit. To be truly honest with you. I, I can't say that you know, this nigga, you know what I'm saying, invented, like, he invented dance songs, but in real life, he kind of fucking did as far as, like, revamping that shit. Wasn't nobody doing no fucking dance songs, dog. I don't, I don't know nobody doing no fucking dance songs. As soon as you start shooting, bitches want to start calling this shit. That shit's retarded. Look, January 22nd, 6 p.m., I'll be going live for the first time on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, get over there. I said I was going to do it this year, so we doing this shit. Um, I'm speaking to AO Nation. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Um, the AO Nation donation conversation. We have that every other Sunday. I shout y'all out when y'all donate and shit like that. But we doing more at this fucking point in time. Because y'all know YouTube don't pay shit. You know what I'm saying? NBA 2K and stole my goddamn shirts and shit like that. You can see that shit on YouTube. Uh, with the shirts, y'all know the shirts. Uh, any shirt you want, any head where you want. The shirts are going for... Um, 15 all shirts all and all the headwear is going for 10 for the month of january and shit like that but we speaking on the 22nd any question y'all got scream at me also listen listen to this goddamn music that y'all hear in the background it's not just music i find online it's real artists with real fucking projects that are you know what i'm saying trying to promote themselves listen to that shit get down in the comment section let it be known how the fuck you feel most of the time they'll be in the comment section so you can tell them personally what the fuck they need to do or how you like their music and shit like that if you're an artist that's trying to get some real exposure with real people not that instagram sponsor bullshit Hit me up, but don't hit me up until you're ready to make a transaction. Prices start at $200, go up to $2,000, depending on what you want to do, whatever like that. But do not hit me up until you're ready to go to work. I'm not, I don't, I, I don't have no time to play. I'm trying to sue these fucking folks. Get back to the video. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. But when that guy there, soldier for, like, <laughs> no, when that shit came out, the beat was loud. I ain't gonna lie, the beat was loud as fuck. But, and that shit was just so fucking crazy, that shit just went. And it's like, my nigga, you did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not being able... The fact that 
the fact that you couldn't rap was masked by the fact that we was in high school and everybody was dancing and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker want to go to party and do the, the little dance and shit like that. And that was your lane. Now, the only issue, niggas, like, dog, you should have stayed in that fucking lane. But just like anything fucking else, you wanted to be a gangster. And this is why I try to tell you, niggas, it is the rap trap. And we'll get to that momentarily. But just because a nigga has a body... Just because a nigga got a gun and just because a nigga shot somebody, just because a nigga got tattoos in the face, tattoos, period, been in prison, I don't give a fuck what a soul dope does not mean a nigga is shit on shit. That shit don't mean shit on nothing. I got so many fucking examples of this goddamn rap trap just coming up, young jock. Anytime a nigga will sacrifice his fucking integrity, for this fame shit, it's the fucking rap trap. It's not just, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, uh, showing dope on camera, not being able to defend themselves and shit like that, because you, like, it's everybody against you, but you gotta show the world and shit like that. It's also destroying, because that's all a, a trap does, it destroys the victim of the trap. Um, mouse trap, bear, whatever the fuck it is. It destroyed, that's, that's the purpose of it, to, to make this pest exit, to destroy. When Young Jock came out, we'll, we'll talk about Young Jock when we get to Young Jock. When Soldier Boy came out, oh, you, you did the dance, you got the money, you could have fell back, S-O-D, you know what I'm saying, it's all good. But because... And, you know, you could blame it on a nigga being young and shit like that. And not, not wanting to be seen as just a dancing nigga and whatever. But what's wrong with that if that's what the fuck you is? You see what I'm saying? What's wrong with that if that's what you are? I'm going to get off of that. The love and hip-hop hustle, and just like I'm telling you, they put examples out there. The reason I have an issue with with um with, with with Kodak doing interviews and 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 his stupidity, Cardi B's stupidity, anyone's stupidity being championed, championed, or being celebrated, is that the imagery of it all just just makes it look like why. Try. Why Why strive at being better than what you already are? You already sound like they sound. You can go right now. They speak like third graders. If you speak, if you enunciate your words, if your vocabulary is, is uh, any greater than that of a fucking, you know what I'm saying, adolescent, you get thrown off into the goddamn conscious community. Like, hold the fuck up, dog. Hold the fuck up. Are we, are we, are we being blinded to the fact that they have successfully made being intelligent lame and being a fucking idiot, not just the norm, but live? Do you know if you go you go to a school, dog? You go in, into a you know what I'm saying this anywhere where it, it, it's a lot of black people and you speak. I'm just talking about the way you talk. Speak proper English. Oh, you trying to look like a he, uh, he trying to sound like a white boy. He talk like a white boy. What does that tell us subconsciously? Subconsciously, we relate white. With intelligent. So what does that mean about black? Ratchet. That's fun. Ha ha ha. But what is ratchet come? Ratchet comes from pain, agony, not having enough. Proper comes from having everything together. Having enough everything. I don't have to be ratchet because everything's just fine. See, the, the story is not being told. All the way, you're not being given the details 
of what's going on. So when you see Soldier Boy, like I'm gonna take my nigga. If you trying to like why? If you trying to get into the rap shit and trying to show 2019 gonna be my year, which I hate motherfuckers saying that shit. Because the beginning of every year is my year. It's everybody's year. Like, how, how many fucking people own this goddamn year? But if that's really the case, then show that. Why the fuck? And this shit is being lightweight, respected. I'll fight any rapper. I'll fight any rapper. And this is the 6 9 this is what I'm trying to tell you at the end of the day. This is 6-9, 2.0. You look at what Takashi did. Fuck it, I'm going to do the same thing. I said it when Takashi first came out that this ain't a good precedent because rap niggas been hoes. Rap niggas been hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, like, the hardest rapper, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can been called, you know what I'm saying? Like, been hoe ass niggas. Takashi actually showed it all around the board. Actually going to niggas shit, whatever like that. Certain niggas bowing down. Certain niggas looking certain ways. To where now, it's just an all-out war on everybody. And then we go to the, the situation with this nigga, the baby. To where you murder the nigga in Walmart. You punch a nigga that shows and shit like that. Because you don't like your image. Your image is not, not that of Gucci Mane or Black Youngster or Kevin Gates. You have an image of happy-go-lucky. You know what I'm saying? Like, you not your shit don't go... You rap about trap shit, but your shit don't go in the trap section. And then because you're black, you can't go in the section with the Lil Pump, Lil Skies, Lil Zan and them. You got to stay right here in the middle. That's why at your show, it's not packed. So you just fucking stuck. And that's what happens with this music shit. What you come in with is what it is. You can try to do some different shit, not gonna work. How we see you in the beginning is how we see you. How we see you in the beginning is how we see you. Don't matter what the fuck Tiger do, but he's stuck, he's trapped in that... Nigga, we see you as lime in the coconut. That's how we see you. It's just what it is. Soldier boy, you a dancing nigga. You cannot change your image. You can walk around the house with as much coat and as many guns you want, but we never gonna respect you as no street nigga. Period. Chris Brown, same thing. Drake, same thing. Nobody just, Nobody is good with just having money. You want that respect because everybody had the respect of a real gangster. But nobody wants to be treated like one. Everybody want to be treated like a real gangster, but nobody want to be treated like a real gangster. This is this is what that trap is. What you want, what you don't want. You're conflicted in your mind. You can't make no moves in the real world because in your mind, you don't know what the fuck is going on. The shit you see these niggas do. We get boiled down as black men to bitches. Whether it be our hairdo, we talking about fighting and the shit getting thrown up on the shade room. Hitting niggas in the club and nobody getting killed. Just some bickering bitches. That's our image. And then they already trying to paint us as rapists. Then they already trying to paint us as we can't protect our women. But not one motherfucking time do we say, hey man, look man, these motherfuckers trying to fuck us over. All of us gonna stand together and say, fuck all that. Together we gonna stand. Nah, fuck that shit. Because I'm a gangster. And this is why niggas always misrepresent what a gangster is because they not real gangsters. You look at all the real gangsters, the niggas who actually made these six. All these niggas slap hands with each other as OGs. Slap hands and make peace. 
because they know what they'll do. They don't gotta prove nothing. Let me stop. Let me stop. Hey man, it's been this been a rap trap. Uh, make sure you hit the PayPal. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. I, I, ain't, I ain't even finna go. I ain't even finna go that far, dog. I ain't finna go that far.